Hello everyone, what we are finding okay. So we have some kind of repair. We have a laptop to fix, and the laptop is coming from a very, 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 very regular customer. Uh, what the customer is saying, saying, um, you stop using the laptop like uh, one month, and when you try to use it again, the laptop did not respond. You put it on charger, you change different chargers still the laptop is not working huh so that's the laptop that we have here the laptop looks like this that's the laptop and it is a it's an hp hp model 15-dw 3007ni that's the model of this laptop is some kind of new model so um, Let's see. Let's see about this laptop. Let's see. What I want to do. Uh, we have the, the power supply there. On top. That's the DC power supply. With how many amps? Why? Why it seems as if there's no embrace there? Let's see, it's 3.2, 3.1 amps. Okay. So, I'll plug in here, like usual. What? Okay, the power supply is plugged here. As you can see, here we must have light here, and there's no light. Uh, here we have a switch pressing the power. I can hear the switch is clicking, but it's pressing, it's not doing anything. We don't have light, we don't have anything. This is just a dead laptop, huh? So, can you fix this? Huh? What can be the problem? But trust me, uh, this can be simple, this can be complicated. It's not taking any current, but according to what the customer said, uh, we can draw some kind of conclusion before we get inside this laptop. Because what the customer said, he said he stopped using this laptop for about three weeks, almost a month. And when he tried to use the laptop again, the laptop did not respond. So, we might have like uh, some kind of frozen BIOS. Let's get inside while he's speaking. While he's analyzing this, this kind of fault. Uh, maybe the battery. Uh, like maybe when the customer left the laptop, the battery was at 0%. And uh, because of that, uh, we now have a highly discharged battery. That can be also the reason. Or the laptop has some power, but uh, we have some kind of stuck EC, like a frozen EC chip. Because uh, I can't say it's a motherboard. I don't think so. I don't think so. So how did you open this? I think long, long ago I was fixed same same model of this laptop. If I do remember, how can we get inside this? Or have some screws here on this rubber? I 
No, I can't see any screw here. So I think whatever fault here we can fix we can fail to fix this. Huh? Why so hard? Like we have some screws. I need something. I need something to open this thing nicely. Because the plastic is broken. When I try to do it nice way. We have every screw here at the middle. Every screw here. I think now, now we can open. That's the back cover. Uh, yeah, the motherboard looks like this. We have the battery, we have the HDD hard drive here. Big fan, big heat sink, and the processor, some kind of all-in-one all processor with GPU and the PCH inside. ENE, that's the EC chip. Okay. So, uh, volts, where can we start? Let's check the battery voltage, or let's check the main 19 volts power line. We must have battery voltage, zero. Zero. Okay. Eight volts. No, we don't have voltage. How is that possible? Like to have zero volts. Huh? On this coil, what about on the keyboard three point three? Still zero. I can't see any voltage. What about on this power supply here? I can't see like any voltage on this motherboard. Trust me. Uh, battery voltage. Can you charge this battery? A little bit. Uh, can you charge it? Okay. Let's try to put some power on the button. Uh, 14 volts. And it's taking 2 amps. You can see on the multimeter. Okay, I need a proper ground here. 
proper ground. Let's charge the battery. You can see there, it's taking exactly 2 amps. Exactly 2 amps. Two point five. What's going on with my ground? Hmm? Okay, you know what? What voltage do you now if I don't want to charge you like too much? Now we have zero point two five. Okay, let's disconnect the battery. Let's do the basics. Let's disconnect this battery like this. Where's the bias battery? We don't have bias battery here. Let's plug back the battery. Uh, now let's put the power supply again 19 volts where's the charging port here yeah. and we have light you see the light and it's not taking 21 milliamps. Huh? We have light. So that was a frozen BIOS. Let's try to power on the laptop. Huh? You know, sometimes it's easy on. And we have light here. You see the light? But we have nothing on the screen. It's taking 800, 900. Let's wait because we reset the board. I can see the light now is taking one amp. And you see, uh, press enter. It's working. We have HP log. It's taking 800 milliamps uh, and it's loading windows. Huh? Uh, huh? What a nice repair. Huh? Everything is working fine. The mouse, the keyboard, Keyboard is responding. This use our password. We can't proceed at this point. So yeah, that was the the repair. Uh, I'm happy. The laptop is fixed. And these are some kind of jobs every technician wish to have. Uh, like nice, simple repair, no complications. You take the money. The customer is happy, and we are happy. This kind of job, we are 100% sure there's no coming back customer complaining. So, yeah, even myself, I wish I could get more jobs like this. Just to work less, you get the money, uh, the customers are happy, you are happy. 
So like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. Also share our videos to the loved friends and relatives all over the world. Now, I will stop here. What is left, just to close up the laptop. I can see the mouse is working, everything is working. So there's no reason to keep you on this video. See you on the next one. Bye.